Once upon a time, Bablo used to live with his friends, Monkey and Ock. After missing his parents in an accident, Bablo learned to live alone in the jungle. One day, as sun rays entered into the cave, Bablo woke up from sleep. He opened his eyes and with folded hands saluted Lord Hanuma. Before he woke up, his friends Monkey and Ock woke up and are sitting on his side. As he looked at them, they sighed as if they told good morning. All three of them are wearing enthusiastic looks. Today Swamiji will come. Let's get ready and make arrangements for the puja. They took bath and got ready. From nearby trees, they collected papaya, bananas, mangoes, sapota, grapes, gova and custard apple. They kept them at the feet of Hanuman and saluted. Just then, Swamiji reached them. All of them bowed and saluted him. They gave all flowers and fruits kept at the feet of Lord Hanuman. Swamiji opened his bag. I bless all three of you. Here take this flattened rice, jogri, core rice and others. As they are listening to Swamiji, for last two years, Bablu could understand what he is speaking. Whereas monkey and ox are not able to speak, though they could understand what Swamiji is speaking to them. That day, Swamiji is teaching them geography, history, social sciences and maths. Mind power is mightier than physical power. After praying Hanuman, you must put your skills to use and do a good deed of service. After preaching them, Swamiji went back to his village. All three sent him off and stopped at Banyan tree. Just then, they hear a drumbeat of proclamation. They climb on top of banyan tree and are watching. At a distance, several tribal male members are beating drums. A message to all those who are living in hills and jungles here. A rhino is roaming here near us. And it's killing our people and animals. If any hunter succeeds in killing this menace, our head of Vera Hamlet will give presents. That's how proclamation went on. Hearing it? Let's go and see from where that Reno came. All the three of them reached those tribal people. They wish them in a tribal way of bending head and straightly showing hand in front. There is a tall, handsome tribal man with large axe in his hand. Bablu went to him. Dear tribal master, where is that Reno now? For what? Will you play with that Reno? No, I will kill it. Bablu spoke with firm determination and zeal for the word. Since long years we have been doing lot of physical exercises and now become as a powerful as an elephant. Even we find it hard to stand that Reno. You are such a kid and you want to kill the Reno? Do you wish to live or not? Get out of the way now. Except the tribal master. Everyone laughed. Stop laughing. I am true to my word. Everyone stopped laughing at him and began listening him intently. To kill that Reno you don't need physical power. Just give me a chance. Tell me where is it now. I shall see its end. Just for present, you want to do this act. It's not child play. I don't deserve for parents. The Trino will chew you within a second. I am not worried for my life. I will kill it and save my people and animals. As I will be its prey, I am ready for the risk. Well done boy. Neither you are worried for risking your life, nor you are interested in the present effort. 
I appreciate your courage. But listen, if you breathe last in your fight with Reno, we are not responsible. I'm ready. Then come along with us. Moving the axe, Tribal Master led the way. Monkey and Ork followed him along with Pablo. They stopped at the village outskirts. There is a big banyan tree there. Below is a five feet stone. Listen me boy. This stone is our judge's seat. Here I enquire people's problems and will solve them also. Our people will also get married in front of it. All good and bad of Vera Helmet are performed here only. This is an auspicious place for us. As soon as the sun sets, a rhino comes here from nowhere. If it fails to get food here, then it's coming to our hamlet. In the last few months, that rhino killed many people and animals. Master told everything in detail. Master, before rhino comes here, I need two things for me. What are they? Firstly, make a hole to the stone and keep sharp tridents and iron crew bars in it. Their edges should be out for at least one feet. After doing, put a cloth on the stone. Secondly, make a hole in the burial ground and cover it with leaves and shaft. Though, none got a clue why Bablu asked for it. Few young men from the hamlet came and started doing what Bablu asked for. Few men made hole in the burial ground and covered it with leaves. Few others made a hole in the stone, put tridents and crowbars in it. They covered it with cloth as well. After that, Bablu stood at cloth, covering big stone. Now you all may go from here or else wait on top of the tree and watch what will happen. Hey buddy, are you crazy? If it comes and hits you even slightly, you will die in a second. Don't do this act. One and last warning. Just then, monkey and orc made a sound as if Reno is coming that way. Master, I will face the Reno standing here only. I am going to face it with my mind power. Else, as I said, I will become its prey. It's coming this way. Go from here right now. You don't have even a knife at hand. Okay, take this! Thereafter, everyone climbed trees. In no time, huge and dangerous Reno comes to the spot. Looking at her, Bablu roared like a lion. He signed as if he is challenging it, whistled as well. Looking at him, Reno got angry. It looked like gasping anyone at sight. There is a lot of power the way it looked at Bablu. Making huge sound, it started running towards Bablu. Everyone felt terrified to see the event and felt as if Bablu is going to die. But Bablu remained calm and composed. Again he roared and whistled. Hearing the sound, Ryu started running fast at him. The moment it's about to attack him, Bablu climbed to the top of tree. Rino failed to control its speed due to being at peak angry state. It hit the stone and gravely injured because of insertion of tridents and crowbars. Bablu whistled again. Hearing it, the Rino got angry and madly loosened it from the insertions. The next moment, 
Bablu jumped down from the tree with an axe at hand. He hit the axe on the land. And Rino hit its head to the land. This created a lot of rest making it produce fire on the spot. Rino died in the fire. In an instant, a demon came out of Rino's ashes. Oh boy! Give me the tax. I will show her you gifts and will show her lot of wealth. Then come with me if you want. Bablu ran towards the burial ground. Demon followed him fast. Knowing where the hole was dig, Bablu ran past the leaves with a gem. Whereas not knowing the trick, Demon fell into the hole along with covered leaves. As it fell in, Bablu tore apart the hunk with axe. In no time, the demon made huge sound and died in the hole. Thereafter, all tribals, their master, monkey and hawk came near Bablu. Everyone buried the hole and demon's body in it. The next day, people of Veerakonda honored Bablu for his act of courage and thanked him for saving their lives. They presented him clothes, lot of food and thousand gold coins. Bablu wished everyone there. My wishes and respects to all of you. My master once told that there are demons roaming in the jungle. When your master told about Reno, I suspect it to be a demon. I know it will change shapes easily. That's why I made the rock as an instrument to attack the Reno first. If I could have failed to kill there, I planned to punish it in the hole we dug at burial ground. As I expected, it did work out well. As soon I got hold of the hunk, its real form came out. It begged for hunk as its life and living soul is in the hunk. Finally, with all your help, we could kill her. I am glad to make you happy and provide security to your life. I am pleased for your treatment also. I shall accept your clothes and food, but I got nothing to do with gold coins. So. I will distribute them among your own people here. Please accept this. Though you are young, Bablu got a big heart. He is too smart and kind at heart. His wish is always accepted. They came near, surrounded Bablu and patted him. After taking his gift, everyone stood smiling at him. Finally, Bablu wished all of them best and started back to his jungle with Dharma Raja now you have to say like Krishna Dharma Raja